Okay. Okay. Before we start, thank you very much for joining me again in another Vantage live trading session. Okay, today is the 10th of October, Monday, 5 p.m. Singapore time. Okay, before we start, <clears throat> I have to read the disclaimer as per usual. Okay. Okay, this webinar is purely educational and nothing in this webinar should be construed as investment or trading advice. So, please do your own due diligence before you start trading. Okay, disclaimer. Let's, let me read the entire disclaimer first before we begin. The information, context, opinions, which are expressed in the presentation and on the following slides are solely those of the presenter and not necessarily those of Vantage and are solely used for educational purposes as they do not constitute investment advice and or consultation on how a client should treat. Vantage does not guarantee the accuracy or reliability of the information provided herein. Risk warning, trading margin forex and CFDs carries significant risk and is not suitable for all investors. You could lose substantially more than your initial investment when acquiring our derivative products. You have no entitlement, right? or obligation to the underlying financial asset. You are kindly advised to read the relevant documents on our legal documents page and seek independent advice to fully understand the risk before deciding to trade. Information is of general nature only and does not consider your financial objectives or personal circumstances. The responsibility for using and or relying on such opinions, material context lies with the client and Vantage, accepts on responsibility for any loss, including without limitation to any loss of profit, resulting directly or indirectly from reliance on such information. Attendees should note that sessions are audio recorded and may be published in various media including print, audio, and video formats without further notice. Okay, let's move on. Okay, first, we have this introducing our analyst, our analyst team. First, we have Desmond Leong. Okay, he is our chief trader. And next, we have Tianning. She is our investment analyst. And next, we have Jin Dao Tai, who is our prop trader and also our fundamental analyst. Next, it's me. My name is Chen Yongjing. And I am the investment analyst, same as Jia Ning. Okay. We are also the finalists for the best Forex research for 2019, 2020, and 2021. We are also the finalists for the best equity research for 2020 and 2021. Okay, before we begin, let, let me bring you guys to the Vantage website first before we continue. Okay, so if you search Google, we search Google first, Vantage. Okay, let us search that. Is the first link. It is called vantagemarkets.com. Okay, so you guys can visit this website. And if you want to know more educational materials, you can go to education and tools, educational webinars. It's listed as popular. Next, you scroll down. You can register for the free weekly sessions, including now, and you can look at the upcoming webinars, 
which is now it is the live trading session 5 p.m gmt so you can look forward to tuesday tomorrow 5 p.m singapore time gmt class 8 we have a presentation of using correlation to improve your trading it's being done by one of our prop traders annabelle ang she will be presenting tomorrow at the same time as now okay let's check okay for Vantage, we have a minimum deposit of $50, $0 deposit fees, and we have leverage of one to 500 Okay, let, let us begin. Let us go to trading view. Okay, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I'm interested to see if there are any regulars who are usually watching this webinar and if you have any charts that you would like me to take a look at please copy and paste the chart link and send it into the chat and we can view your charts live on stream okay let us begin let me load my chart okay. Hey, thank you, thank you. Thanks for viewing from Portugal. What time is it there? Hi, yes, yes. UK, United Kingdom. Thank you for watching. Let me load my chart. Okay, I'll share with you guys a live trade which I took today on my personal account. Let me show you guys the trade. So, I just now earlier, I took a trade on, let me check, on the euro dollar. Earlier this morning in the Asia session. So, right now, I'm currently doing a prop trading challenge. I'm actually getting the, I will not name the company of the prop trading challenge, but it's something which I, was, I, I actually wanted to do for a very long time. And I just started doing the prop challenge earlier this month wow it's very early 10 a.m so in two hours time you'll be having your lunch okay so just now earlier i took this trade i took this trade let me draw out where did i took it it happened at 11 p.m new york time so i took this trade upwards and i took profit there the trade happened uh, it, it opened and closed in one hour. This is on the one hour chart. So I risk only once, uh, one percent of my accounts, and I think this trade, I only took zero point five percent of my accounts from here to here. Okay, it's a fifty pips trade. Okay, let I uh, let me show you guys why I entered this. Okay, this is on the one hour. So before we start, I always mark out. So right now, since I am busy in office, so I'm actually doing all kinds of research. I'm doing charts for the company. So I do not have time to look at the one minute charts anymore. If I'm at home during the weekends or if I'm on leave, I will be looking at the one minute, five minutes charts. So to reduce all the noise, all the noise in the charts, we go to the one hour. So how did I draw this line? How did I draw this line? It is actually the best fit line. So I try to find a point. I'll take this as the, it was the resistance earlier this morning because price was here. Price was over here earlier in the morning. So this line was still the resistance earlier on. So why did I enter? I drew this line. I stuck it to this area. So you can see this, this uh, resistance line earlier was valid because of one tap, multiple taps, and a third tap. So this adds confluence 
to the resistance line that it is a strong one. So why did I enter? So I waited for the price to close above. You can see the price closed above the resistance line. And since I do not have time to monitor or you know look for a retracement entry at the bottom, a nice retracement kind of entry, I did not bother on any of that. I just set my, I immediately just bought according to the market price with my stop loss at the bottom here. Stop loss here, take profit here. So I went, I was doing my work. I went to have, I went to have an early lunch. So by the time I came back, the trade hit take profit already. Okay, so give me a moment. Let me show you guys. Okay. Wait, uh, I do apologize for that. I'm I'm hoping if I could if I could show you guys the trade. So I'm actually checking my charts on my phone. Hmm, I can't can't see the last trade level. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. Never mind. Hey, hello, hello. Hi, Santiago. Hi, welcome to the Vantage stream. Okay, so as I was saying, my take profit was here. My entry was at this line, this black line, stop loss here. And the trade only took one hour to hit take profit. So I actually have uh, the fundamental analyst Jin Tao in the office. He was actually telling me the easiest way to be profitable trading is just to trade solely on the resistance and support level on the one hour charts. Why the one hour? One hour, within the one hour charts, you are actually trading intraday. You are still intraday. So if you are on the four hour charts, you, you have probably missed the trade. So let's go on the four hours. There is no clear signs of entry. On the four hours, price just shot up and hit take profit. So just stay on the one hour so you can reduce all the noise. Look, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, or the one minute, even the one minute. Look at all this noise. Look at all this unnecessary noise. You just do it on the one hour to look at the overall bigger picture and increase your chances of take profit. So let's look just now, what was the risk to reward ratio? It was a 0 0.88. It's not the very best. It's not the very best, I must admit on that. But it still took profit with no issues whatsoever. So let me show you the other trades that I am looking at, that I was looking at. I actually entered Euro dollar. Look at this green line which I drew earlier. This was an area which I entered. Look at this green line. I entered earlier there, but I'm being very honest with you guys. I entered here 260, but I closed the trade at break even. The trade hit break even. It did not went down. I did not hold the trade all the way down. Since I'm doing a prop trading challenge, I'm taking my risk and trade management very very seriously on this trade so how did i enter when price broke one hour so when price broke below the one hour chart i expected i had time just now so it was 2 p.m it was my lunch time so i was eating eating lunch i was watching the charts so i had time to instead of having a immediate market sell. I had time to look for a retracement entry. So how do I do that? It's already very simplified. I do not have much on the charts. On the charts, it's just four lines. I only drew four lines. There's nothing much on the chart at all. Four lines. So I just moved in on the 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And then as I mentioned in the past, 
I like to use market imbalance. Let me draw it out. Market imbalance. So it was this area. You can see previously. Let me get the brush out. Okay, where's the brush? Okay. So previously, price did not, when price closed here, price did not come back up yet. So I was looking for retracement entry. So my entry was here when price went back up to tap into this market imbalance area. So my head sell image hit, I was in a negative for quite a while. I was in a negative here. Price came down over here. And then to manage my risk, I set my trade to break even, to break even. So I expect if price comes back up, it's possible for price to continue going upwards. So I do not want to risk losing the entire 1% of my stop loss above. So I set break even here, price went up, hit my break even. Wait, let me go. It's a bit messy. Okay, price went back up, hit my break even here before price continue going downwards. So you you guys might might be thinking, do I feel salty about it? You know, salty. Like, wow, I entered a nice trade. I should have held it. Then the trade went down. No, I do not feel salty about it. To me, it was good risk management. Price could have already went up and I could have lost 1%, which is my euro, my Aussie dollar, euro Aussie dollar trade. It could have wiped out my profits. So I did not want that to happen, especially it is a Monday. And today is the bank holiday. Okay, so let me clear this out. Okay, it's now back to a clean chart. Okay, looks like price is retracing back up. Let us look on the one hour chart. What is going on? Okay, it is possible. It is possible because at the end of the day, trend lines are very, very subjective. What do, what do I mean by subjective? Let me draw another trend line. I just spotted something. Another horizontal line. Take a look. Let's say I drew it here. Let's say I drew it right here. You can see there is one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, multiple touches. Price then tapped on this line and it seems to be retracing back upwards. Okay, so that is the reason why you should take partials. So let's say I'm already in a trade, very, very nice trade, in a nice trade downwards. But then I spotted this area. I spotted this area right here. What does this area mean? You can implement other concepts such as smart money concepts. Let me write it down. Smart money concepts. Okay, so what do I exactly mean? What do I mean by smart money concepts? Is I can I just sim I just apply the liquidity concepts. Have you guys heard about smart money concepts? If you guys have heard about it, do let me know in chat. I do not mind sharing more about it and how we can answer on the five minutes, fifteen minutes time frame if you guys want to. Well, but the on the one hour charts. Take a look, look at this. This is what in smart money concepts term, terms equal rows. Okay, so we have equal rows here. Right here. Okay, yes, you have heard about it. Very, very good. Do you, do you use it personally in your trading? Okay, so we have equal rows here. So this is quite a clear sign that price can let me get the let me get oh where is it okay it could have been a clear oh my god okay never mind I'll just use the brush to okay so it is it can be possibly a clear sign for price to 
clear the liquidity, clear the equal lows, look at it, clear before price reverse back up. So normally when I see liquidity areas such as this, equal lows, I would I like to usually close my full position, full position or 80% of my trade. Okay, so why do I close 80% of my trade? Why do I close 80%? So you can take the psychology of your of your charts, you know, the, your mind off the charts. So you have already taken 80% 80% of your profits is no longer unrealized. What is unrealized? You are just looking at the screen. So unrealized trade is the money is moving, moving, moving. Wow, you are looking, you are looking at your you are looking at your meta trader. So wow, it's you are in profit, but then you haven't closed it yet. So it's not it's not a realized gain. So if I close 80%, I can go and do anything I want. I can go out, have lunch. I can go and watch YouTube or anything, but I already know in my mind here that I have already closed 80%. It doesn't matter if trade goes up to break even. At most, I lose the potential 20% which I could have made. It's fine. So I like to close partials at liquidity areas. Okay, nice. You are still learning smart money. Okay, very, very good. You can implement this. This is actually a relatively simple chart which I am trading today. So I'll need you four lines. Uh, four lines, four lines. And then I just implemented the smart money concepts. So just now, how could you guys have entered on the one hour? Oops, wait, so sorry. How could you guys have entered on the one hour? with when you have no time. So very easy. You can just wait for price to close. One hour close below, you just enter straight market price. You do not have to care about retracement or whatever. Since you are on the one hour, you are looking at the overall structure. You can set your stop loss to be above this high. And set it here or here is up to you. But for me, since I'm a safe trader, I like to set my tick profits at the previous swing high. So if my tick profit was, oh my God, okay, get it. If my tick profit was right there, take a look. And then I was aiming right here, but price is coming back up. If the tick profit was here, it would have been a, okay, it's not that good. It's a 0 0.89 risk to reward. But if price did, eventually comes back down and hits 0 0.96710, we could have a nice take profit of risk to reward 1 to 1.27. Okay, and also this is actually the very few times which I trade on the one hour charts. I very rarely trade on the one hour charts, but recently I realized I do not have much time to actually look at the charts properly. So I would rather reduce all the noise and just trade solely on the one hour charts. Let's move on to the other currencies that I was looking at. So you cat, look at this. This was a trade that I was eyeing this morning. Look at this. Price cleared. Price cleared this area. I could have entered right there, but why did I not enter? Look at this. Price cleared. Price on the one hour chart cleared. Why did I not enter? Because the risk to reward was extremely bad. Look, if I set my stop loss here or my stop loss even here, and I wanted to take profit at the next support level. It's a 0 0.78. It's even worse than 0 0.8 risk to reward. It's not even one. Look, why did I draw here? This is on the one hour chart. One touch, two touch, three touch. So it is a best fit line. 
So this wasn't a good trade. Although I did write it down, I have a note, I have a notebook on my desk. So every morning I do a quick analysis on six currencies. So I was looking at this view. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did. Okay, you will see I don't go right there already. Okay, so I was looking at this one, two, three, four, five, six currencies. So I actually write down on my notebook. What do I write down? How do I write down? So let's say I, I wanted to sell. I had an idea for a sell. So I write down on my notebook. I physically write it out. I do not type out. So I have a euro cat. Now I write on my notebook. One to sell. WTS. At what level? So just now I had this level. So I wrote, written this down. Want to sell this level. And is it up or down? So I'll have a is it a trending? Selling? Am I in a trending? So trending. All right, trending. So we take a look. This is a trending market, trending sell. Okay, let me get the arrow. This is a trend, is a trending market. Price is on the downtrend. So I continue writing. I go to Euro GBP. I was actually looking for a short up here. I was looking for a potential short. So it's just an idea that this morning I wrote for Euro GBP. So we have, as usual, multiple touches, one touch, two touch. I was actually expecting, what was I expecting? I was expecting price to go back up before it comes back down and I take profit here. But price didn't do so. So this market, this market is a trending market. So what did I write down on my notebook earlier? So I wrote down, your GBP, want to sell at that resistance line, 0 0.88072. But, but since this is a trending market, I, write, I wrote down counter trend. So I go through all these currencies you see on my right sides of my screen. All these currencies right here. I write down whether it's trending or the ideas trending or counter trend. And then I focus on the best idea for the day out of these six currencies. So I only focus on the trending ones. The trending ones. Let me write down. After writing down all the ideas, I focus on the trending ones. I only check out the trending ones. So if it's a counter trend, I just ignore it really. Okay. I only will look at the counter trend trade if there is really nothing. If everything is counter trend, then I got no choice got to search for a best best counter trend trade so since there are quite a few out of these six i had four trending four trending ideas so this is a counter trend then you gpy same thing look at this this was a very very nice trend so i wrote down early on euro gpy want to sell wts where do i want to sell i wanted to sell when price broke this area right here let me draw it out. Brush. I wanted to sell when price broke, broke this area. But same thing. You take a look. Look at the risk to reward. It's not, it's not good. It's even worse. 0 0.68. It's extremely bad. So don't take it. So this is not a good idea at all. You GP right? want to sell. So what did I, what was this level? 141.18. I put trending, but I cross it out. Cross the R, the risk to reward is bad. So I move on. I ignore this, although it is a nice trending one. I ignore it. So I go on to Euro NZD. So what was I expecting on Euro NZD? I was actually looking for a potential sell from this resistance line. Or I was this morning, I was looking for a buy, a possible buy to this area. But 
my main idea I was looking to sell. So I actually typed out Euro NZD want to sell. So I want to sell at that resistance line, which was 1.74256. But it was a counter trend trade, counter trend. Why is it counter trend? I wanted to sell here. Counter trend trade. So it wasn't a good idea at all. Because price is was moving up in this. What do you call this? A bullish channel. So it was a counter trend trade. Same thing. I ignored it. It's out of the question. So euro dollar, as I mentioned earlier, this was actually a trade which I took, but it hit break even. So I had I had two trades today: the euro Auss, euro euro Aussie dollar, where price went up. Take profit and the USD. But unfortunately, it break even, so I won't be revenge trading. It's okay. So actually, I wanted to do Euro CHF. Look at this idea which I drew earlier. Let me pull this arrow to the side. So, why did I draw this? Draw this line. One touch, two touch, three touch. So I drew a best fit line. This morning price was over here. It was right here. So I was expecting if price broke this area, it's possible with the bearish momentum. The bearish momentum, I was expecting price to potentially hit here. But right now price is just uh it's not it's, the price action is very bad. Price is just fluctuating around this area. So yeah, this was a trending trade which I wanted to take, but unfortunately, it's not working out. Although the idea is there. Okay, how do I add confluence to my trade? I have another screen open. I have DXY. Take a look. This is what I drew on earlier today. So how do I get this kind of best fit line? Okay, I set the take a look one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, five touch, best fit. So if I want a better fit, oh wait, do I see? There's one more here. So I want to get that to best fit. I pull it out to this level. Okay, you see it fit nicely now. It's the best fit line. Okay, since this area is now a support, let me change the color to green so as to not confuse you guys. Hey, by the way, do share with me what kind of trading methods do you guys use? I'm interested to know. Also, please send your charts my way. Just press this screenshot button, copy link to the chart image. Copy it and just send it to the chat. We can view your charts and we can discuss it live on this webinar. There's no right or wrong. It's okay to it's okay to just send it. Don't need to feel shy. Just send it over. We can take a look. Okay. So this area is my resistance. So I'm actually expecting DXY to continue strengthening. DXY has been very, very bullish. So, same thing, two taps here, this is the third tap, four, and I'm expecting five later on by the end of the trading session tonight, which is, uh, for me, it's night time, for you guys, it's probably in the afternoon. Yeah, what did I press? Okay. Okay, let's take a look. The XY is further going up. Okay, if you guys have any any currencies that you would like me to open to open on Trading View, do let me know in chats any currencies that you guys are currently looking at. Please send it my way so we can view it, view it live on stream. 
Okay, let me look. I'm actually okay. Continue sending. Just send in your charts, please. Please send in your charts. I would appreciate it. Okay, so right now I'm looking at a reversal. I'm actually looking for a possible, just maybe a possible sell to back down to this support level. Okay, this area is now support. Support level. F okay, let me what what is FRA 40? Let me add that in. FRA 40. E. Let me take a look. Do send in your charts. Please send in your charts. So I can take a look at what you are seeing. Okay, let me draw the lines. Okay, so seems like what I want is a best fit line. Okay, what what is this reflecting now? Hmm, it's very subjective, so we can take it as here. Okay, it's fine, we can draw it here. Multiple areas, tap, 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 and tap. Okay, it's France Index. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I believe this is the first time I'm actually looking at the France Index chart. Okay, let's mark out the next resistance area that price might potentially react to. Okay, so I'm looking at this area. I saw the, I just marked out this area. So I saw this area, this area, and this area. Expecting price to tap there. So let me make it into a best fit. Okay. So change the color to it. Okay, resistance. I'm expecting. Okay, since you are buying, very nice. Price has reflected twice. So this tells me that this area is a strong, strong support, strong support level. So congratulations on the buy. It looks good, honestly. It honestly looks good in my opinion for price to continue upwards to tap into this resistance area. Looks good. It's only one hour. So your intraday is very nice. Yes. You like to look at all types of markets. Okay, if you're looking at all types of market, just, just remember to... You know, not have multiple trades open, so you have to look at multiple charts at once. Then you can take your attention away. You can take your attention away if you have multiple, multiple entries. I normally like to, although I'm looking at multiple currencies, I actually only, uh, what, what do I call it? I only like to have one single trade open. Okay, hey, this idea was an uh, idea of Vantage Telegram channel. Oh, very, very nice. I haven't checked the Telegram channel. Maybe later, I will take a look. But really, this trade looks very good to continue upwards. Looks good to go there. Do screenshot this if you are interested. Thanks, Vantage. Yes, yes. It's a very nice idea. Okay, looks very, very good. Okay, let's mark out the previous, the next resistance area that price might continue to go after it taps there. Okay, looks like we have a, what do we want? Okay, we have a nice area here. One tap, two tap, three tap. Okay, so if, let's say, let's say price closes nicely above this area, price can potentially go up or it can continue, it can reverse back down. So if since you are in a buy, it's up to you. It's up to you whether you want to take partials here or take full profit there. If I were you, okay, let's say I'm in your situation now. I would, as I mentioned, I would close 80% of my trade when it hits the next resistance level. Okay, they are at 6025. Wow, that's very, very high up. Okay, their tick profit is very, very high up. Damn. Okay. 
since okay, I, I'll just say my opinion on the take profit of 6025. Let me mark it out. Where's their take profit? 6025. Okay. On page take profit. Hey, they want to take profit there, but it's at 6025. Okay, that's actually a very, very high area. That's one thing that I would like to say is smart as usual smart money concepts there's a liquidity area equal highs there what i would do is since i'm an intraday trader i wouldn't be longing it all the way up because there could be many many loan unknowns you don't know okay let's see how long it took for this chart from the top all the way down. From here all the way. It took three days and 18 hours. It took three days and 18 hours. So how do you know? How do you know if what kind of news events will come up? That price can all the news events. You are coming, coming, coming. Three days. So let's take a look. Three days later. Let's take a look if it's three days. Three days later. It would have taken this length, around this length for chart, for the chart to hit the take profit area. Okay, there's what are knowns? Known. Knowns. Close. News events. Okay, where can you find the news events? You know news events. Simple. You go to Forex Factory. So like all these news events, like, like earlier just now, 4.30 p.m. The Centix Investor Confidence. Yes, we know that the news is coming out. Everybody knows that. But do we know the results? Do we know the actual results via the forecast? We don't know that. So the actual results is what we call the unknowns. Actual results. We don't know the results. So it's best not to let news affect your trade. Oh, look, look, it's going to take profit. It's almost hitting there. Very, very nice trade for a Monday. It's just start of the week and you are making money. It's very, very good. Congratulations. It's hitting take profit live on stream. You can take partials. Okay. Partials is up to you how much you want to close. Maybe 20% is also fine. You can leave runners. Oh, it's hitting take profit. Very, very nice. Wow, it's hitting the next resistance area. Looking nice. Okay, wow. That's a very, very nice trade. Let's watch it. Give me a moment. Let me get my coffee. <laughs> wow. Wow, the, wow the, the momentum is very strong. Let me see what's going on in the five minutes. Wow. Hey, this is it's a nice trade. Advantage is helping me make money. Yes. Okay, please also, you know, let me tell you the honest how, how I actually lost money, how I lost money back then when I first started trading. So when I first started trading, you know all those telegram channels, they have those signal channels, kind of names, what kind of destroying markets, all kind of funny, funny telegram names. So you can subscribe to their VIP channel. What's their VIP channel? You pay a certain sum to them, PayPal. PayPal, maybe 50 US dollars to them and they invite you to their Telegram channel where they send signals. But always remember this. If they are that successful, those paid Telegram cha channels, if they are that successful, why don't they trade themselves and not sell signals? Does it make sense to for them to show they have gotten hundreds and hundreds of pips yet they need to take these small little 50 US dollars from people? It makes no sense unless they are not profitable and they are only making money from selling signals. And then I actually followed 
this is a real life example. I actually followed this Telegram channel back then, three years ago. Ah yes, all those channels, I did too. <laughs> You're not the only one, it's fine. A lot of traders, when they first start, they actually follow a lot of signals. They follow Telegram signals or they ask their friends, hey, should I buy or sell? Then your friend just tell you, uh, I think buy, so you just buy. Just because your friend said so too. End of the day, follow your own analysis. Trust your gut feeling and have confluence to why you are even buying or selling. So back then, there was this Telegram channel. They said, if I'm not wrong, they said sell, go. Sell, go. So what I did, I threw in $5,000 onto a MetaTrader 4 account and I entered one lot. One lot on go. What was I doing? One lot on go. So if I'm down, I was down at 1.600 US dollars on my five. Okay, you have hit you have hit the resistance line. Very nice. Almost hit. Okay, let me continue my story. Sorry, I got excited. You have a nice trade there, man. Okay, so I actually entered one lot. One lot on the account. And then it was at negative 600. I did not want, I did not want to curl, so I continued thinking that those signals must be legitimate since I already paid money. So I did not want, want to lose my money. I removed my stop loss. And that was a very, very big mistake that I ever had. Why did I, I remove my stop loss so I wouldn't lose money? I wouldn't lose the money yet. So I held on to the trade from Monday to Thursday. Monday to Thursday. I held on to my trade, man. I, did, I didn't even want to open a meta trader. So I opened it maybe once a day just to see whether am I in profit. So every day I opened, it got worse and worse until it reached 600 US dollars. So it hit 600 US dollars. And on Thursday, it almost broke even, yet I did not close the trade. I already held four days in a loss and there was so there are four days of swap fees. So price uh my trade almost broke even. I didn't close and then it got worse. And then I lost, I think, around eight hundred dollars on that go trade by the end of the week. And yet I did not learn my mistake. You know, once beaten, twice shy at the back then I wanted to make money, you want to make fast cash, just follow signals, follow, follow, follow. And I blew my entire accounts. Everything was gone. $5,000 down just by following signals. And it was hard-earned money. Yes, you start learning the market analysis and learning with advantage. Very, very good. I do hope Monday you will be successful. You'll trade nicely. you make good money. And you can, it can be a stable income. Yes, yes. Also... You know, do read up, read up some, read up a bit about fundamentals. Do read up a bit about that so you know when the news are coming. Okay, your trade has actually hit the first resistance line, which I just drew out earlier. Look, it has tapped nicely. Very, very nice trade. Very nice trade that you have there. Okay, that is the France index. Okay, from here onwards, I would not pressure you. It's up to you what you want to do with this trade. It's a Monday. So take it slow and steady if you are trading today. Okay, I'll move on to the Euro Aussie dollar. Okay, actually, it's actually it's nice. Price has already closed below. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's actually I'm looking for that. I'm, I was actually looking for that Aussie dollar short because let me draw an arrow. I was waiting for price to break market structure at the bottom, but I want the hourly hourly or the 15 minutes to have a body close. Okay, you'll see how price reacts to your trade, the resistance. Thanks for analysis and opinion. No problem, no problem. This is what the webinar is for, for all of us to learn and for me to learn also. See, I also learn from you. I have not heard or seen the France index before. So 
it's something interesting that I would like to take a look at more in the future when I'm free. Every day is a new learning day. I'm also learning. Every day I'm learning. When I look at the charts, when I take losses, also do remember to have a journal. A trading journal, a physical one. It's better than typing out. When you type out, you can copy and paste all your previous, your previous journals. It's better to write out on a pen and paper, a book. Why did I lose? What could I have done better? Hey, yes, welcome. Hey, yes. Thank you. Okay, so as I was saying, I do luckily based on past experience. Normally in the past, I would have set a cell limit. Let's let's take a look. A cell limit, a short. I would have shorted here a cell limit, but look, price tapped and went. It was a very, very bad trade. If go at the risk to reward, if I actually set a cell stop 0 0.34, it's very bad. And the hourly looks like price can potentially continue moving bullish on the Euro Aussie dollar. Okay, so my trade idea is invalid. If 6 p.m. closes like that, the trade is invalid. Also, please do not be so, what do you call it? Um, like sticky to your trade. Like you want it to happen. Like you have so much confluence. Yes, because this, that, this, that, everything must come to a sell. No. Do not have feelings for your trade. If you are wrong, it's wrong. If the idea is invalid, just delete off your sell limits buy limits or whatever, just do not have feelings for any trades because the market is changing all the time. Especially this idea, just now at the start of the stream, I was saying I was looking for a sell. But if price closes like that, to me, it's an invalid trade because it's just a weak close, W-I-C-K close. Okay. Hey, if you do you have any more currencies that you would like me to take a look at? Do let me know in the chat before we end this session. Do let me know. Do let me know so we can take a look live on stream. Okay, this nice euro cat has hit take profit. I did not enter. Okay, Euro JPY is retracing back upwards. Euro NZD, Euro USD, Euro CHF. Oh, damn. It's okay, it's consolidating. Okay, this is a trade that I will not be looking at anymore. Okay, let's take a look at front index. Okay, the bullish movement is very, very strong, but price look at this at 6 p.m okay in the when the hour closes 6 p.m for me if prices closes below this line i will be a bit wary and i'll start to manage my position if i were you what i want to see is uh, like this the body to close upwards then it can help me to increase my confluence that it is a Strong bullish close. Uh, body closes above resistance. So what I want is something like that right now. It uh, looks very, very good to continue heading up. Nice. Okay. This is a nice trade that you have. Okay, if there are no further questions, I would like you, I would like to thank you for joining me on the stream. Thank you. I don't know how I would, I, let me try to pronounce your name. Thank you, Joel Kaval, Kavalko. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, Jakub K for joining. Thank you for joining me on the stream today. And thank you. Thank you to those who are in the Zoom. 
Thank you, those in the Zoom, for joining me today. My name is Chen Yongzing. And oh yeah, thank you, Hounds Abdias. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to share more insights on the markets in the next session. Okay, just a reminder, tomorrow, before we end this, tomorrow we have we have an educational webinar, same timing, but it will be presented by Annabelle. She will be teaching on how to use correlation to improve your trading. So tomorrow, same timing. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Santiago Silva. Thank you very much too. Hey, you guys have a good day ahead and just stay safe in the markets. Today is the bank holiday, so not much volatility is expected. Goodbye, guys. Thank you very much.